Hello and welcome back to another FIFA 21 player review. Today's player review is for the level 15 card Frank Ajiampong. So without further ado, let's get into this. As always, we start off with the stats. So I played 5 games in Rivals. It was between Div 3 and Div 2. And I scored 12 goals, but didn't get any assists. So let's look at the team that I played him in. So looking at the team, I have Ajang Pong as my left striker because he's left footed and I've linked him with Essien and Clivert. Now if I didn't have Clivert there, Ajang Pong would be on minimum 7 chem unless I also used a CSL striker. But I have to say this team is disgustingly good. And with that being said, let's move into the gameplay. So into the gameplay section now. It didn't take Ajiang Pong too long to score in his debut. It took him just under 14 minutes with a nice little shot on his left. And then as you can see, 30 second minute, taking it round foot birthday Sambia. That is incredibly close to going in. Considering it's on his weak foot, the fact he was bending away, very close, but from that throw him, I did win it back. And Ajiang Pong did have a second go on his weak foot again. Tidy little finish into the right hand corner. As you can see, the strength from him, he was able to get the shot away. It was parried, able to win it back with Cliver again. And this time, a nice little header, so the perfect hat trick. And we're still in game one. He wasn't finished just yet. Another goal just before half time. And then in the 70th minute, from my goal kick, just a nice bit of play. Dragged his defender out, and Ajang Pong punished him. So that was game one done. Now we're into game two. And as you can see, nice bit of play, Cliver. Nice little cross, diving header to Ajiang Pong. Makes more sense as he's five foot six instead of some towering header. But as you'll see in the gameplay, he's incredibly agile. His body type, which is short and lean, and the fact that he's got 99 agility and balance. It just makes him such a tank on the ball like here. He should have lost that. He didn't. Goes and scores. And I've got to say this card is very fun. Because for me, he really does fit the meta. He fits the meta down to a T. He's short. His body type, 4 star, 4 star. Pace, agility, balance, his shooting's top tier, his physicals are really good, and you can see you basically pass it to him and he's most likely gonna score. So, as you can see, this is from my kickoff right at the beginning of the game, and I was able to score a kickoff goal. And then we have one final goal for this gameplay. We did make him rage quit, so I will be back with the pros and cons of this card. So now that you've seen the gameplay, I'm going to be going on to the pros and cons of this Ajiang Pong card. The pros of this Ajiang Pong card, I have to say, it's basically everything about him. His work rates are great, skill moves and weak foot are great, his body type is also great, pace, shooting, passing, dribbling and physical. Genuinely, after playing with this card, because I said in the level 15 video, it was who's the best out of the worst. And to be honest, this card just fits the meta of FIFA 21 perfectly. And his birthday, he's born 
on the same day as me, so he's an absolute legend. On to the cons of this Ajiang Pong card. I'd have to say his 80 composure and his 79 aggression. So his composure, I did feel like he let me down in a couple of instances, but he did score 12 in 5, so I would say that's a pretty good return. And then 79 aggression, there were some times when I was pressing, and even though he has high-low work rates, he wasn't pressing as aggressively as I would expect with someone who would have 99 aggression. But this is just me being very nitpicky. So would I still recommend taking Ajiang Pong from level 15? For me, 110% yes, take this Ajiang Pong card. He fits the meta perfectly because of his short and lean body type. Being 5'6", 99 agility and balance, 99 pace. When I said in my level 15 who to take, I completely underestimated how good this card actually is because he fits the meta so perfectly. Being 4 star, 4 star, besides his composure being a tad low, I'd rather it be mid 90s, high 90s. But besides that and his aggression being 79, this is probably one of the best storyline cards we've ever received. So for me personally, I would definitely take Ajiang Pong from level 50. I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, drop a like, comment down below who you're going to be taking from level 15. And if you're new around here, do consider subscribing. But for now, I'll see you in the next one.